50,000 fans plus game in, game out. It's been, been phenomenal, really. So um, whether the public will actually carry some sway here and persuade the board to re-investigate the issues with Kevin and maybe come up with something. I think so. I think so. Um, I, do, I, I don't know how. If if a father takes his pen to the ground, sees the castle and Joey Barton's playing and applauds him, what sort? You know, and I look at what sort of attitude and, re, and reaction he, he, he's given to the the youngsters going to the castle now. You know, they, they think it's a, maybe think it's a normal to beat somebody up. I mean, the lad he beat up to him, not when he was 16 year old, he was a Ben. You know, the man's just a thug. No doubt about it. At the time, I thought my ship had done a good job. I was, I mean, he wasn't frightened to splash the cash, as you say. And, uh, I was pleased for Ashley, I thought well, he's got plenty of money and uh, we had the debt and I thought he'll uh, fund the club and I was, I was reasonably pleased. Oh, definitely, definitely. See, <laughs> when Shepard was here. We're getting a lot of things on uh, on tick, yeah, on account. But still pay for over family Martins, you know. And you can't you can't run a club like that. It's like running a club on a provident, isn't it? You know, he, and well, Ashley, I mean Ashley's come in, he's paid my debt off. And uh, people have got to remember it's not a bottomless pit. I mean there was the rumours going around that uh, Keegan was going to get an 80 million pound war chest and this, that and the other. But, it's had a good cost. Let, let's, let's see how good a manager he can be. And, and let's see what we uh, what can do. Right, yeah, I think Ashley can bring, it, um, bring the club forward. I mean, I just wish all these rumours would stop about certain takeovers. It does the club no good at all. And it's your good press man, your Manchester press, who uh, instill it, you know. Well, providing he stays, I, I don't say why not, but it'll be slow progress, as you know yourself. I mean, there's a load of room, as keep saying he's going to sell up again. I mean, he is primarily a businessman. I know he mixes with the fans, but I mean... Last weekend, for instance, the Sunday Sun and the Journal was talking about various takeovers and that, and then Ashley comes out with saying there's no truth in the rumours. So if I believe Mr Ashley, hopefully yes, I think he can. But then again, as I've said, it will be hard work. I did the Manchester United Newcastle commentary for Sky Sports um, just a couple of weeks ago, and Newcastle did so well. Um, and Gutierrez, one of the players that was brought in, was one of the stars of that performance, you know. And so there has been some good movement in the transfer market at Newcastle. Well, I was, uh, I was really pleased. I was buzzing that day, like the day he signed before the Stoke Cup tie. But when I got to the Bolton game on the Saturday, I realised. I think he can still turn them down, but he's got a major job on his hands. And I don't think he's like the miracle worker that, you know, he, he was in when he came in 92. I mean, I know he got up then in a season and um, a half. But clearly, the two camps haven't quite got it together. It's a shame because Dennis Wise is a, believe it or not, and people in Newcastle may not want me to say this, but I do say it from the heart, Dennis Wise has got a lot to offer football. Um, and I just wish that the two, two guys, little men with big hearts, maybe big egos as well, could get together and maybe still there's a happy ending for Newcastle. Oh, I was overjoyed. My phone never stopped. I was overjoyed. And you can see the Messiah's return. Keegan loves the club. You can see it in him. 
I just get uh, worried now. Uh, he's, you see him now, and he, he hasn't got a spring in his step where he. The reports this morning in the Newcastle Chronicle um, attributing sources very close to Kevin Keegan saying that should a, a new consortium come in then he wouldn't rule out a return for a third time as Newcastle United manager and as you heard there from the fans we spoke to that would again be the, the dream ticket he's the only man that they feel can turn around the fortunes of what they regard as a truly great club a, a sleeping giant in many eyes around these parts as well he's the one man they feel shares their passions shares their dreams and shares their ambition Oh, I think you can. I think you can give him. It. It's always time. You can't turn a club round overnight, especially a club like Newcastle United. And all these, uh, all these fans who think you can, as some fans think, you can. no, we'll probably have another lost season next season. You know, and hopefully we'll win a cup. But we've, the, we've got to get into Europe. We've got to get into Europe because the players won't come without without we've been in I Europe. I think you can turn the club around, but it'll take a lot of time. I mean, the big four now are so much ahead. I mean, I talk about a good, a, a good season with Newcastle. It's maybe winning a cup, but top six getting in the UEFA Cup. You can't see anything other than uh, them doing anything better than that. And it might necessarily be this year. I think it might be another season of steady improvement before, before they could be pressing for Europe. I don't think we're up there with this season, right? Not at this moment. Uh, have you noticed a change in recent years uh, in Kevin Keegan? The way he looks at the game, the way he feels about the game? I think he's become world weary of it, you know. Um, he's such an optimist. I, I think of anybody in the game, if you had to say in my 30 odd years of doing this job, is there anybody that you'd really, above it all else, sit down and want to talk football with? He'd be high on the list, you know. He's such got a great way of w with words. He's got a great passion for the game and has contributed so much to it. But I think he has changed. I think he's sadder in himself. I think he's, he's been on the wrong end of a few things. Obviously, the England business as well uh, didn't help. It was tough going for him at Manchester City. He'd love to be manager of Manchester City now <laughs> with what's come in in the last few days. But um, I, hope he, I hope he's not gone for good from the game, let alone Newcastle.